Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Social. I'm Kathleen. Hi, I'm Sheila. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Carrie. And here we are. Happy Wednesday, everybody. After the big Titans win. Titans win. Tighten up. Woo, tighten up. That was fun. Everybody had to learn how to say tighten up. And D.H. <laughs> King That's Henry. Right. Yeah. Right. Hopefully yeah. by next week's show, we'll be yeah. in the Super Bowl. In the right? Super Bowl. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. That'll be awesome. Then maybe we'll do some sore squares. <laughs> Super Bowl sore squares. Oh, maybe. Anyway. Let's do it. All right. Anybody got a word of the day? Why don't you start us off with a okay, word of the day? Okay, we'll start off. <laughs> you know what? My word is necessary. And I had the most negative day yesterday, and all I can think of today is that it was necessary. Things were necessary. I had a dental emergency. Thank you, Kimberly Pitts and their crew, Allison and Debbie, for getting me back on the road. And um, some negative things with some real estate contracts that were just kind of like, oh my gosh. Mm. And I just let myself sink into the emotion of negative. And I decided oh. today that's okay. Because without feeling so negative yesterday, I wouldn't feel so good today. Right. Growth comes from pain. Right? Growth comes from pain. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think it feels good to get that emotion out. Yeah. And I let it out yesterday. I was just like, I was negative. And I'm not, I don't usually let myself do that, but it felt good. It's okay to do that every now and then. It's healthy. As long as you don't stay there. It's okay. Healthy. I'm going to piggyback off that because my word for the day is tweak. And it sounds like I had a, <laughs> a, a, a very similar day as you okay. yesterday. Yeah, I kind of got, you know, I had some things in real estate go wrong, and I felt like I got kicked in the nuts. And um, <laughs> that's exactly how I felt. And then, um, I, like you, I was kind of like feeling negative, and I just kind of like needed to reevaluate some things. and thought, you know what, sometimes I believe God has these things happen to you so you can tweak some things. And you just kind of regroup, and it just makes you better, stronger, and um, you just reevaluate. So, tweak. Very Sometimes good. we just need to tweak. We should have called each other yesterday. So we, we should have. Actually, I was thinking about coffee. that. Yeah. When you said Absolutely. that, yeah, we should have had coffee or That's okay. something Everybody else. Has bad yes. days. That's right. I'm, I'm going to tweak. Piggyback off of y'all. Uh -huh. My word of the day is integrity. Oh, and that's always good work. It is. And, you know, that's, it's your moral compass, but it, it's how you behave when other people aren't watching. Right? Yeah. So stay tuned for, for my current event. Ooh. That's okay. going to tie into that. Yeah. Okay. So, oh. <laughs> when somebody's not watching, that's a whole other topic. Because yeah. these days I feel like someone's always watching. Well. Isn't that weird? Yeah. The whole Big Brother thing is real. What's your word? And then we'll talk oh, about it. It is. My dad used to say that way back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. One of these days, Big Brother's watching and he will see everything. And yeah. we're there. Okay. And we'll know everything you do, every move you make. We're there. Yeah. That's kind of what we tell our kids with Santa Claus, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, right. Coming out of the holidays. That's been happening for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my word is trust. I just think trust is so critical in every aspect of our lives. And I think that's something we need to keep at the forefront of our brain is, is, is always being honest and always building trust, whether it's with family members, definitely our spouses, um, yeah. you know, no white lies, whatever it is, the good, the bad, the ugly, just spill it. You spill know, it. And you don't want to spill it. When you, oh. <laughs> well, little ones, yeah, if it's yeah. to save someone's feelings, but when trust is broken, it's hard to put back together. It is so, hard. I want to say, in, at, at our okay. age, you know, when you're younger, you want to be polite and everything, but I appreciate people who, even if it hurts a little bit, you can trust them, yeah. and you know they're going to tell you the truth. That's right, yeah. Right. That's why all those things yeah. go around well, on Facebook talking about your real friends are the ones that will tell you what's yeah. happening. That's yeah, true. I prefer to be that person and I prefer to be around those kind of people. Yeah, we're well, all like that. I, like, what the hell are you wearing today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, but it's all in how you deliver it. I told you, she's it's all in how you, you deliver it. Right out of my mouth. Yeah, but you can do that with a really good friend, yeah. and that really good friend would go, What are you talking about? It's bad. Yeah, you bad. Bad. it is. But yeah. you can say that to someone who's not a really close friend, and you can immediately stir up some anger and angst and some yeah. real negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but delivery is everything. Presentation mm -hmm. is everything. So Yeah, it is. I noticed that we have some very similar coffee mugs here. Yeah. But guess what? Mine is a little different. I had a made for my sister's, too. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, yeah, so we nice. talked about these last week, the uh, coffee mugs that we got from the source shop. Oh. But this one's big sis, middle sis, which is me, and little sis. And back here it says, not always eye to eye, but always heart to heart. Oh, I love this. So that's what I gave them for Christmas. Okay, so that's our words of the day. Our topic is about sea glass. 
So I know that sounds kind of weird, but sea glass is, you know, over years and years and decades or whatever, or forever, people have thrown glass into the ocean. We don't have glass bottles as much as we used to, yeah, so this right. is kind of a rare find now. But people would just, you know, bottles would fall off people's boats, or you'd be at the beach and you would leave them, or people toss them in the Coke bottles, wine bottles. And so over time, the sand is beating, mm -hmm. and these bottles and this broken glass are tumbling in the sand. And then they wash up, and they're beautiful. So it's called sea glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you ever found sea glass? I have never looked have. for it. And, and I'll tell you, when I was at the dentist, they had a whole book about sea glass. And I was just captured by it because how similar is that to our life? Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're something, we're born, we get tossed into life and the world, and we get beaten up by the sand of life. Turbulences. These are the sand. These are all <laughs> the sand. Come the thing. And then at the end, we are a result of how we got beat up or tossed around in life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which honestly, the sea glass comes up and it's beautiful. So I like to think that we're beautiful in the end of the well, mixture of what our life was. That's, that's very true because because it's the things that we come through that build our character. That's right, and mm -hmm. and create the person that we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So the broken glass, the edges become softened. Mm -hmm. They kind of turn into a different shape. The colors become more brilliant. Mm -hmm. So if you were a piece of sea glass, Rebecca. What would you look well, like? And this is interesting. Carrie comes up with our topics as, as a whole. And where you come up with these, I don't know. I think your mind's brilliant. And um, it's very interesting because she just throws out the topic and we don't rehearse them or anything. And we just talk live to you all. But I had seen Spanglish, the movie Spanglish this weekend. And oh, there's a whole a scene movie. in there about... Sea glass. Really? Yes. And it started me thinking actually about sea glass. This is, I'm not lying. And then carried throughout <laughs> the topic and I thought, wow, what are the right. odds of that? That's um, I've never even thought about sea I've glass. I've never thought about it either. Same um, because I've taken the same picture hmm. on the interstate. Oh, I know. That was very strange. Yeah. yeah. I love but, it. Yeah. So, so what would your sea so, glass yeah. be? So immediately what came to my mind is I would be the color red because mm -hmm. I'm fiery and I'm spicy. And so immediately the color red with a lot of smooth edges, but a couple of jagged edges because there is still some work that needs to be smoothed out with me. So that's, that's me. But be careful. I mean, yeah. Rebecca show to Rebecca. Yes. Let's <laughs> Rebecca. Yes. Let's so smooth Rebecca. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Okay. What about you? Clear. Ooh. Transparent. You know what? Oh, that's, that's fitting. I think that's, that's so fitting. fitting. Sometimes... You know, how beautiful is it to know yourself? That is perfect for you. Yeah, and I feel like I'm an I open like book, it. and sometimes I feel like maybe I say too much. And I feel yes. like, you know, I don't, I don't really hold back. Sometimes I, I think I could be better at um, the finesse of things, but what yeah. you see is what you get. Hmm. That's true. That's, that's true. Nice. Yeah. That's very that's fitting. And all the colors I was thinking of, clear did not occur to me. Yeah. That's perfect. For I love like that. Yeah. What about you? I think, and, it, and it's not my favorite color, but I think it, mine would be yellow because yellow is a, it's kind of the color of optimism and positivity. Mm -hmm. And and I'm very much in agreement with Rebecca. It would be primarily smooth and there would definitely be some jagged edges that still needed some work and some touch up. Yeah. Yeah. The some color of the sun out. because you're always... The bright, oh, the bright the spot. Kind one. Thank you. Oh. The kind one. The kind one. Yeah. It is the kind one. When I think of it, I just want to be ice blue. I just love that color. Ice blue seems happy and peaceful. And I think mm -hmm. of, through life, at the end, I really want to be peaceful about everything in life. So I would say and hope that I would be ice blue, but I kind of imagine it. And y'all are talking about the jagged, the sharp edges or whatever, but that's what I kind of imagine. It's something that looks more like a, like this or like a comb. Because I feel like I want to have all those cubby holes that my loved ones can feel protected in when they're with me. But then the edges where I'm still like, mm -hmm. I'm going to find a sharp. Yeah. yeah. So I want to keep some of my edges. But, yeah. Yeah. An interesting thing, too, is just thinking about color. When you think about all the different colors, and, and every color represents, gosh, just a vast array of adjectives. It's really interesting. So check that out. Just what colors mean? Google what do colors mean. Yeah. It's interesting to read about those, and you will see yourself very clearly. In certain colors. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's interesting. I didn't see clear. So, yeah, get on the internet and read about uh, sea glass. And actually, the rock tumbler things for kids. Oh, yeah. You actually oh, could yeah. buy the rock tumbler, but then take your own glass and wine bottles and beer bottles or whatever, bust them up, 
outside in a bag with goggles on for safety and throw some of those pieces with some coarse sand in a rock tumbler. Leave it for a few days and see what you get. That'd be it. That'd be very interesting. That'd be fun. Maybe we'll yeah. do it and then we'll bring some to the show. Well, yeah. Interesting. We're going to start something new too. We're going to start having a little segment real quick about a fun fact and then a segment about a current event. Yeah. So you got a fun fact for us? I do have a fun fact. Have you ever been in a situation where you're trying to remember the name of something or a word? Mm -hmm. And you're like, remember, Billy does this to me all the yeah. time. You know that actor, he's married to that girl that played, what was that movie? Right. <laughs> What's the name of that movie? The Dark Hair yeah, yeah, the Dark Hair Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he yeah. sang that song. Yeah, that. Yeah. So there's a term for that when you can't remember the name of something. <laughs> and I have to think about it for a second and make sure I say it correctly, but I believe it's called lethogica. Okay. Lethogica. Isn't that interesting? I never knew there was a term for when you can't remember the name of something. That's when your logic, logic has become lethargic. Okay, I like that much better than brain fart. When people say brain fart, oh, that yeah. sounds nasty. I, know. I don't right. like that. Yeah. 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 Yes. I like that. It is the same thing, isn't it? It's the same thing. Same so, thing. lethargical. I don't like no, the word fart. I said the wrong word. You said the wrong thing. <laughs> See? Lethargica. I just went lethargica because I forgot the word. Lethargica. Yeah. Okay, interesting. All right, there you go. You're welcome for that little lesson today. <laughs> okay, current event, quickly. Y'all probably didn't hear about this this morning, but did you, um, the Houston Astros just fired their, did you hear about yep. their general manager um, mm -hmm. for cheating? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, in, in 2017, their general manager, and it was, was it the um, team leader? Anyhow, that, my word for integrity, it's like, we've got another cheating scheme scandal in the sports world right. coming off the mm. back of the um, college admissions scandal. Mm -hmm. So we have all of our athletes and our Hollywood, everybody cheating on everything. I know. And they were using a smartwatch to do so. They were stealing signs from the other team. Oh, goodness. Um, wow. You know, in the baseball games. And so they've now fired and they were talking about taking away their um, major league title. Okay. I don't, I don't understand where at what point someone thinks that is okay and that they will get away with it yeah that's what i don't understand here's what i hate is what you're you're clearly saying we aren't good enough we can't win unless we know cheat. your signs yeah. unless right. we cheat unless we, we can't just have advantage. our own great plays yeah and yeah. beat you so. like the patriots with deflate gate and all that kind of oh, stuff oh yeah exactly and, you yeah. know it, it makes me sad for how are we how are we teaching our kids consequences when you have all these adults yeah. that are high-profile people, mm -hmm. we need some integrity. Yeah. There's a great line in the movie, I Feel Pretty. Mm -hmm. That's a fun movie. <laughs> I but there's love a great, that movie. I love, okay, so do you remember when they're, she just gotten to know him, she went and entered that little contest, and that stupid bar, and they're <laughs> sitting there having a picnic outside, and he's just so blown away at how she's so comfortable in her own skin. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm -hmm. She's like, you're perfect. And he's like, I'm not, but I'm pretty sure you are because you are so comfortable with who you are. He says, mm -hmm. most of us are so negative about ourselves that we don't even stop to find out what we're awesome at. And I love that. But that just made yeah, me think about the guy true. cheating. He's so busy thinking mm -hmm. the only way I can win is to steal your ideas mm -hmm. or know what you're doing so I know how to react when he's forgetting to just be awesome. I agree with that. Yeah. Totally. Because if we all have something unique about it, then it's awesome. We all do. Yeah. What about being healthy? Yes. Health tip. Okay. So my smiley face is across the room right now because <laughs> I was so excited about seeing these three that I left it across the room. So it's in the room. So pretend I've got my smiley face. Um, yeah, so with New Year's resolutions, a lot of people are starting to move more. They're starting um, power walking programs or starting um, jogging programs. And they can't understand why they've got neck, back, and knee pain. Mm. Your shoes. Um, first of all, you need to buy a pair of shoes. Go somewhere like Fleet Feet or a, whatever, New Balance, a shoe store, and be properly fitted for whatever activity that you're doing. Whether it's running, jogging, only wear those shoes during activity. Don't wear them around all day long. And change them every Sorry. six months. Every six months. Yes, because even though they look great on the outside, the shock absorption is gone. Wears out so, over time. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So that's interesting shit. you say that. You know, I was doing my little side job um, working for UPS over the holidays, and I did that. I had an extra pair of shoes in the car just halfway through my day of walking five to seven miles yes. a day. My feet would like hurt in certain spots. Changing out 
my tennis shoes made it mm-hmm. made me feel fresh again. Absolutely. Like I could go yes. another yes. few miles. Yeah. 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 Wow. So there you go. It yeah. makes a lot of sense. It's yeah, like changing does. that mattress. Well, there yes. you go. Change your shoes and your mattress. <laughs> and your pillows. And your undies. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Please. All right. All right. Everybody have a great week. That's a sore yeah. show. Go Titans. Yes. Yeah. Titans. Yeah, go Titans. Next time we talk to you, like we said, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Okay. That's it. Y'all have a great day. So, 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 so.